And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Factorio on our Extreme Production. All right, and uh, speaking of production, it's time to do red circuits. And uh, we want to come down a ways from the bottom of the bus here. And it's quite a ways, I know. But I want to leave ample room for other items on the bus if we need them. So I'm going to build my my new design for red circuits, uh, which uses a little space in between for possible beacons. Now, uh, we're not going to be using productivity modules uh, at all. We're just going to focus on speed modules. So uh, I'm not sure how many beacons we're going to use, but uh, one, two, three... I'm going to have two of these setups. So the center here, this is the, let's see, intermediates. This is the copper cable. And then these outside ones, these are going to be the advanced circuits. All right. So we're going to have all of these go in like so and the copper is going to come in right at the top and uh, I want to leave a little room for maybe extras and then the circuit return are going to be on the other side so this side here actually I could probably just sneak them on Need to, so it just gives us some symmetry there. So this is where the red sign or the red circuits will come back, and they're going to be on one side of the belt. They're going to be on the far side of the belt here. Uh, so one of the things I do is I merge them. So bringing that in. And then we can... Actually, let's go the other direction. Like this way. And that way, we can figure out... I don't think we'll have anything on the bus over here. Uh, what I'm thinking is... We'll have a train to pick up all of the ores. And then we'll come across over the top. Because down the bottom, we're going to have a lot of stuff down here. For processing uranium and and more oil. Uh, we even have some sulfur down here. Uh, we might even mine some of that sulfur, put it on a train to go north. And then up here, I mean, we got all of this. This is about as far north as our base gets. But uh, bringing all those in sort of back in here and allows us to kind of make what we can get out of them. And the red sign or red circuits come all the way up. Oh, I overshot that. So there's plastic here. We'll, we'll get to that in a second. So we have a plastic and a battery. So we want to go under that. And we have something else. And then we have to go into the red science. And then immediately I want to join these up and put in a buffer chest in here. And that will allow us to really maximize. Okay, so now we need supply. So we have two belts that are going to come down. And again, we're going to want to leave a gap here for potential beacons later on. So leave, leave a three gap between these two. And you can, you know, obviously extend this pattern long ways down. Okay. The only other thing, we need two 
inserters for each one of these. And we need the output. Like so. And we need to set up these to grab things that are away. So I'm going to do the outside of the inserters. Now we need to bring in said materials. Uh, let's bring in one there. So that's going to be for the inside belt. We want the inside belt over here as well. So they're taking off of both sides because uh, when, when they supply, they're only going to be off of one side anyway. Okay, so the green circuits need to come in uh, on the inside of these and the outside of this. Okay, and let's see if we can underground... Uh, let's see. I'm going to try to read this right. Okay, and then this one comes down. Nope. No, that's way off. Like so. Okay, I'm going to... I'm going to stop plastic from going any further than that. It's because I don't know where... It, I know it's needed for, for later modules and everything, but aside from that, uh, this is all wonky. Let's, let's fix that. Uh, we need to go down two, 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 just like that. And then later on, we'll have way more way more speed and way more distance with our underground. So when we finally upgrade these, we'll be able to stretch that all the way across. But we don't really have that option right now, unfortunately. So I'm making sure everything is loading up fine. Then I'll kickstart this. That should be the, the circuits for the other side. Now we need to think about power, uh, and these just basic go, go across like that. These smaller ones, match it up in the middle, and we should have enough power to run everything. Just like that, and now we should be getting red circuits. And, oh, we need copper. That's right. We need an abundance of copper. And we need it right along this line right here. Almost forgot about copper. Uh, let's see. We have this one's the upper one. So I'm going to go across like that. And those two. So many underground belts. So this is copper. Let's get that flowing. As circuits build back up, that is a good thing. I'm not quite at the extreme production yet, but we're slowly making our way towards it. So this should kickstart red circuits. Uh, they pulled in the required. So I know my inserters down here are working. It's just a matter of getting copper. Ooh, and I need inserters right there. We have plenty of copper to keep this running. Um, one of these copper can actually keep like six of these things going, but it's kind of hard to put six around them in this sort of arrangement. 
you'd have to put like one on one below one above and I don't know how how I would route the materials for that but there are the very first red circuits and it looks like we're gonna need a little a little merger there a little bit more effective merger there we go there is the red circuit design at least uh, and you can put undergrounds in between here to you know make room for a beacon but not a hundred percent necessary you could put one right in the middle here and then leave the copper alone and then have them on each side extending out all right well we have our first red circuits look at that now we need to think about engines uh, because engines are used in blue science so where do we want engines to be built I'm thinking right up in here would be a good spot because then we could run them across almost like a bus above the iron here and run them into where we need them for blue science it's kind of what I'm thinking right now is uh, right over in here and then we can expand this as we need to because there's plenty of room right here uh, and you know they also use pipes so we've already got a bunch of pipe ready to go hmm how's our power doing oh we're still only less than 10 percent of our power draw right now so I'm thinking we're pretty good on that front I think I'm gonna start with 10 engine assemblers and go from there because these require steel iron gear and pipe so three ingredients uh, and we're gonna come up a ways from from the bus here uh, let's see how do we want to do this one two three if we go three we'd put the the finished engines on the center one and then requirements on the outside so let's get oh auto save engines going here so this would be where the the finished engines go right in here and then the components would go along here okay so we know steel steel and gears and then two pipes so we're gonna need a lot of pipe production in order to get the, get this going uh, and so what I think about what I'm thinking about doing is pulling in some iron first off we're going to get all of this stuff taken out we got lots of pipe on me now uh, all right so I'm gonna have two assemblers making pipes Now, how do I want to do this? If I do it like right down here. So if this is like a pipe here, and that's a pipe, then I can output like that. But that I can't output this way. Hmm. So if I instead do something down here, and I could put a splitter like right here.
So we're also going to need steel and gears. So those are the gears that we're going to be pulling from. And we're going to try... Try our best to make this a nice system. Uh, it's not really working out the, to the best right now, but uh, hopefully, let's. So these are. Let's dial that back. I put a splitter here. One goes that way, one goes that way. So here I need my supply of gears and steel. I need a iron here and here. So these are iron pipe. So one load in, one load in. Okay, and now I need to figure out where my output is going to come in. So that'll range back there. So I need a gear. So right down here, we have gears. What, what are those? Okay, so gears comes up. That's fine. And then I need steel. Dial this one down right there. Like so. Okay, bring that one up. And now I can bring my, okay, that's still a really bad place for that. I'm going to move this up like that because I want to move this. Uh, if we're going to have another line coming in, so there's going to be another line here. I'm going to go two up and then kind of have a bus up above here. And of course it lines right up with this main power line. So there's going to be one there, two space, and one there for engines. All right. And we need... There we go. Pipe is on the way. And now it's just a matter of getting these things happy. No, just one. All right. So we need one of these to be extended, just like we did before. It's either the outside ones. So if I put another set here, then these can migrate and move and fill in the gaps, so to speak. There's going to be a lot of power poles involved. I have a feeling right away. So we want one there, one there. Oh, let's keep them on the same side. Uh, and this one, this one would go above just to keep that same pattern. And then hooking this up like that. Okay, now let's take these away. I wanna move these up. You never know where you're gonna need the power run. Uh, so, of course, you're going to have a system for these to store them up. 
Now that we're getting engines, we'll be able to actually build some trains and stuff now. And uh, start expand. Oops. Start expanding the whole production. We can get... We actually can get pretty far uh, before we have to worry about Bob's materials over here. His stuff really comes into play when you start getting like the Mark II uh, manufacturer uh, of, let's see, like all of the Mark IIs, threes, and fours of the chemical plant, electrolyzer, oil refinery, the advanced uh, assembly machines, the more advanced furnaces, the Mark II or Mark III's, fours and five drill. All the really advanced stuff uses uses those Bob's ores. So we can get a pretty good base going before then and uh, avoid really having to uh, build up a whole lot of, uh, of nonsense for those. Uh, all right, so the next thing on the agenda is Blue Science, which we will tackle uh, next episode. All right, well, that'll do it for this one. And I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.